You can wipe anything off your credit report using these 10 laws, just like this, this, and this. Once you understand how to use these laws, you're going to be able to knock the credit bureaus out. And I'm going to walk you through the whole entire process of what you need to do. So grab a pen, get some paper, get something to drink, sit back and relax, because we about to get straight into it. Here's what we got to do. We have to get a report, all right? Get a credit report. Now, if you don't have a credit report, you can go ahead and get one from Identity IQ. Now, once you have your report, this is key, all right? We want to see all the negative accounts that's holding our credit score back, whether that's a charge off, bankruptcy, eviction, student loan with late payments, child support, it doesn't matter. Any account that's holding your credit score back, you want to identify all those negative accounts, all right? Now, once we identify all the negative accounts, what you also going to see when you look at it, you're going to see a lot of information. You're going to see a lot of stuff that's going to be inconsistent that looks similar to this, all right? You're going to see the open date that's inconsistent, date last active, date last reporting, not only on just the negative accounts, you're also going to see that with the open accounts. But we're not focusing on the open accounts that are positive. We're focusing on the negative accounts, all right? So once we identify all the negative accounts that's holding your credit score back, now what you want to do is go ahead and create a letter, all right? Now we're going to go ahead and create this letter based off of the laws that they violated, all right? And I'm going to show you how to create this letter. Here's how you're going to create your letter. You're going to have your first name, last name, of course, your address, current um today's current date to whom it concerned all right i just got my credit report and some accounts on my credit report are incomplete and inaccurate which is a violation of 15 usc 1681 eb all right i'm gonna break down these laws a little bit later but we're just talking about this letter right now all right you also violated 15 usc 1681 s-2a and b 15 USC 1681 5A1 and 2. All right. Any person who fails to comply and fix this matter will be hot, will be held liable under 15 USC 1681 N, which is a civil liability for willful non-compliance. All right. And you just got to get aggressive sometimes because you already know credit bureaus like to play crazy. Now, what we want to do is list all the negative accounts on this letter all right so list all the accounts so name and account number all right so the account number like i said it could be one two three four x x x or asterisk it don't have to have all the account numbers on there all right just have the name and a few account numbers and that's okay all right now delete this account immediately because of violation of 15 usc 1681 i'm just listing off all the laws all right so you want to document all the laws that they violate. And then there are other laws, like I said, that I'm going to talk about, but this is just for this specific um, scenario. So based off of this scenario, we're going to use these specific laws. And I'm going to talk about a different type of scenario based off of some other laws that you can use to get these accounts removed. But typically this happens for most people. But of course, there are other laws that you can use to get accounts removed. Now, once you have all, this is just an example. I only have four accounts, right? But you can list off all your negative accounts, whether that's five, six, seven, 10 of them, 12, it doesn't matter, all right? Now, once you have deleted the accounts from my credit report, please send me a copy of my updated report, all right? Now, once we have that, next what we wanna do is save this letter for our records, all right? Um, you wanna save this letter for your records, and I'm gonna show you how to use this letter, this letter as leverage to get these, count, these accounts deleted from your credit report, all right? Now, once you have the letter, now let's go over these specific laws that I was talking about and the other laws that typically that they violate, all right? So 15 USC 1681 EB, 15 USC 1681 I5A1, 15 USC 1681 5A2, 15 USC 1681 7, 15 USC 1681 B, 15 USC 1681 5ABI, 15 USC 1681 5B, 2, 15 USC 1681B, uh, 15 USC 1681N. And you kind of saw that one already. But let's go over some of these laws. Um, let me break down how you can leverage them so we can, you already know, knock the credit bills out. So let's go over this first law, 15 USC 1681EB. So 15 USC 1681EB, all right? Accuracy of report. When a consumer reporting agency prepares a consumer report, it shall follow reasonable procedures to ensure maximum possible accuracy of the information concerning the individual about whom the report relates. Serious question. When you look at your report, do you feel like the credit bureaus 
follow reasonable procedure to ensure maximum possible accuracy. Just look. Man, they playing. They playing with us. They really playing with us. Just look how, just look at these reports and how they're inconsistent. This is why this is a violation of 15 U.S.C. 1681 E.B. Now, let's go to 15 U.S.C. 1681 I-5, all right? Now, all you have to do is just go click on subchapter. Just follow along with me, all right? Um, or you can go back. Um, I'll have these links for you, but you just go back and look at them. But 15 U.S.C. 1681 um i5 um i have to do is look down from the letter i and then go down here and then you go all the way down to you can also read over the other laws as well that's what i do on my spare time but you want to go down to number five all right so treatment of inaccurate or unverifiable information i'm pretty sure that you all probably sent out a letter already and the credit bureaus are supposed to update modify and do a lot of things but Typically, they don't. They don't do nothing, all right? They said everything is updated and, you know, modified, everything is complete and accurate, but really, it's not. So here's an example of what I'm talking about. You can go ahead and read this law. If, after any reinvestigation under paragraph one of information disputed by a consumer, an item of the information is found to be inaccurate or complete or cannot be verified, the consumer reported agency shall, right? And this is key word, promptly delete that information from the file of the consumer or modify that information as appropriate based on the results of their reinvestigation. And as you can see, you look at your report, they didn't update, they didn't modify, they didn't do nothing. All right. And, and that's another violation of 15 USC 6. Like they like they are not compliant. But we, we're gonna talk about that law in a second. But number two, promptly notify the furnisher of that information that the information has been modified or deleted from the file. And they ain't do none of that. They didn't modify. They don't, like I said, man, they just playing blatantly disrespecting our rights. You see what I'm saying? They just don't care. I want you to look, look at this video really quick. Here's what I'm talking about. For people like Judy Thomas to get their problem solved. So all these people who take the time to meticulously document a case that the bill isn't theirs or the bill has been paid, that is never seen by anybody. It's not seen by anyone who considers it in determining whether or not information will be uh, removed from a credit report. It's not forwarded on to the person who has the complaint with you. No, it is never forwarded on. Never forwarded on to the credit. There's another law, all right? 15 U.S.C. 1681 I-57. So all we got to do is go down to number seven. And once you're down to number seven, here's what you want to do. A consumer report agency shall provide to a consumer a description referred to paragraph S B three by no later than 15 days after receiving a request from the consumer for that description. All right. Now let's go to that six B three. All right. So six is right here and then B and the number three. All right. So here's number three, a notice that if requested by the consumer, a description of the procedure used to determine the accuracy and the completeness of the information shall be, shall be provided to the consumer by the agency including the business name and address of the furniture of the information contacted in connection with such information in a telephone of such furniture if reasonably available, all right? So how can you leverage that law? You should already have sent the letter out. If you haven't sent the letter out before, typically when you send the letter out, the credit bureau say everything is completely inaccurate. And what you ask for them to do is provide you a description of how they check the completeness and accuracy of those specific accounts. And they're supposed to, and they're supposed to provide you that within 15 days, but typically they don't. So that's how you can leverage that law and get those accounts deleted from your credit report. All right. Now, if you haven't sent the letter out before, don't use that law. But if you have sent that letter out before, use that law so we can, you already know, knock the credit bureaus out. And I'm going to show you how to use that law. When I show you how to write up this CFPB complaint so we can get these things deleted from your credit report. All right. All the law that we could use, right? And this is like, we don't have to use this law because this is more for like hard inquiries. All right. And I'm going to have a video pinned in the description on how you can leverage this law to remove your hard inquiries. But of course, I had to put it in here because I know everybody has hard inquiries and I have a specific video showing you how to use that specific law on how to get that those hard inquiries off your credit report. All right. But 15 U.S.C. 1681B is like permissible purpose. We can go over it and read it, but that's what that law is for, all right? Now, let's go to 15 U.S.C. 
1681B1, 18 U.S.C. 1681B1 and 2, all right? Let's talk about those specific laws. So all you have to do now is just go down to number five. I think we was on number six. So just go down to, or oh, scroll up to number five and let's look of what these specific laws are um, behind how to use them. So 15 U.S.C. 1681B. Now, typically you want to use this law when this happens, all right? Requirements related to reinsertion of previously deleted accounts, all right? So when you have accounts that fall off your credit report, sometimes, guess what? The credit bureaus or whatever, they put them back on your credit report. However, there are specific procedure that they're supposed to do to put them back on your credit report. And you could talk about these laws and how you can leverage them if you got an account removed from your credit report and it came back on here, all right? So here's the specific law, because a lot of people have a lot of information, but nobody really talks about the laws. So let's talk about the laws and you can read it for yourself. But most importantly, if any if any information is deleted from a consumer file pursuant to subparagraph A, the information may not be reinserted in the file by the consumer report agency unless the person who furnished the information cert now certifies that the information is complete and accurate. Now, I don't know what the word to them means certified, but I'm pretty sure if you look at that specific account, I'm pretty sure it's incomplete and inaccurate and that's all I'm going to say about that. All right. Now, the second one, if any information that has been deleted from a consumer's file pursuant to subparagraph A is reasserted in the file, the consumer agency shall notify the consumer of the reinsertion in five and written no later than five business days after after the reinsertion or if unauthorized by the consumer for the purposes by any other means available to the agency all right now like i said there is a procedure that they have to follow and this is the procedure as part of and is basically all this and we can you know break that down but that's another video for another time i don't want to break down the whole procedure but they have to follow a specific procedure as well so like i was saying before if you got an account removed from your credit report and it reappears on your credit report just look to see if it's complete and accurate and look at that specific law to see if they follow that specific procedure because if they did it it's a violation all right and we're going to just use that as leverage to you already know knock the credit bills out all right so just read the, the specific procedure and our, i'm pretty sure they didn't follow it all right what you need to do is go to 15 usc 1681 and all right we're gonna go to that specific law all right so just scroll all the way up to the top um if you follow along with me just scroll all the way up to the top and it's gonna go to sub chapter um three and we just want to scroll down all the way to end now if you have your a quote unquote fcre bible you just go to um this one specific right here so we don't go all the way down to letter in civil liability uh, for willful non-compliance all right so this specific law any person who failed um any person who willfully fails to comply with any requirement imposed under the sub chapters with respect to any consumer is liable to that the consumer in amount equal to the sum of, and as you can read, you can read down these specific on how much they owe. all right? So that's the specific laws that you're gonna to use to be able to knock the credit bills out. So let's talk about how to actually put everything into character, I mean, everything in perspective to get these things deleted from your credit report and let me show you how to write up a complaint really really quick first things all right first things first you want to go ahead and create an account with cfpb if you already don't have an account with cfpb all right now once you have your account with the cfpb here's what you want to do here's the process all right so step one you want to go down to um right here you want to scroll all the way down and you want to click on credit reporting all right now once you click on credit reporting you want to go all the way down to this bottom and then click on credit reporting again and click on next all right now, once you have that specifically, um, you want to go ahead and do a use of credit report. And let's look at to see what's reporting company. Use your report improperly. All right. Have you already tried to fix this problem with this company? Yes. Okay. Now, what we want to do is did you request information from this company? No. And then click on next. Now, here's what you want to say when it comes to this this specific complaint, all right? Um, I have something already written up already, so here's what you want to say. Now, one more thing. We're going to only be talking to one specific credit bureau, all right? So you're going to make this, you're going to make three different complaints. One only talking to Experian, 
one only talking to TransUnion and one only talking to Equifax, all right? We don't want to get it mixed up with like the different type of accounts because one account might be reported on Experian, one account might be reported on TransUnion, another account might be reported on Equifax, all right? So here's typically what you want to say. Say, I just got my credit report on January 3rd and notice some accounts or whatever day it is that you look at your report, all right? And notice some accounts on my credit report are incomplete and accurate, which is, which is a violation of 15 U.S.C. 1681EB. They also violated 15 U.S.C. 1681S-2 A and B, 15 U.S.C. 1681A1 and 2. At this point, I believe they're doing this on purpose. According to 15 U.S.C. 1681B, whenever a consumer reporting agency prepares a consumer report, it shall follow reasonable procedure to ensure maximum possible accuracy of the information concerning the individual about whom the report relates. They must be blind because everything is inconsistent, all right? All right, we just... And we just let them know that, hey, they something must be going on, all right? So what would be the fair resolution? So what you want to do is, based off of the letter that you created already, you want to say you just want to list all the negative accounts um, on there, which is a violation of 15 U.S.C. 16 and all the other laws, all right? So just list all the accounts like this, um, you know, space it out. But just tell them. Delete this account due to violation of this. Delete this account due to the violation of this, all right? Delete this account. Now, if you have other violations or other laws that we talked about, add them in there of how they violated your rights. But most importantly, attach the documents and then select the file, upload that specific account. You could probably upload the report as well if you want to and just show the highlighted information. All right, we just, hey, they didn't do their job. But you can just update, you can just put the letter up there. You don't have to do the um, report. Just click on next, all right? Now, once you click on next, here's what you want to do. All right. Put the company's name, which is who we were talking to. It could be either Experian. Oh, I almost forgot the report. You're only addressing it to Experian. All right. And then we're going to have a letter for a TransUnion and a letter for Equifax. All right. So Experian Information Services, uh, Information Solution. And then click name as it appears, date of birth. And then you want to scroll all the way down and put all this all right do you want to um, do you want to complain with another company no and then click on next now once you click on next all you're doing is verify and make sure every make sure everything is complete and correct and then submit and then wait so now that you submitted your complaint now it's time to wait those days but you probably have some hard inquiries on your report all i want you to do is go to that video right here and watch this step by step by step and i'm going to show you how to remove them hard inquiries off your credit report and knock the credit bureaus out all right so go watch this video right here to remove them hard inquiries